What is your favorite restaurant in town? I don't really go to restaurants, they're all super expensive. <laughs> my favorite restaurant where my friends cook me food. <laughs> it's either the salo hall because they can choose from different types of food. We don't eat out uh, with and friends. I didn't go out for dinner that many times, but if I went out, I went to ramen to beer. Like ramen to beer? It's a Japanese ramen restaurant. It's really nice. They have the most authentic uh, noodle I had in Sweden. But they have a lot of tables outside, so if the weather is good, I would go there. And the environment uh, around the area is really like a nice. If I'm more like in a pizza mood. The 400 greater restaurant, which is an Italian place with great pizza. Um, from the ones that I have tried, actually, vegan bar. Vegan bar. It's more like Swedish, natural, whatever food. I'm going more like to South Important. Blue. Chinese or Canton restaurant is for me it's like a like the taste of home because I come from Hong Kong. What is your favorite cafe to study in town? Mm, I don't really go for Fika to study because I really get distracted. And study it's actually library. I prefer to study in the library. <laughs> Most of the time study in the city library. It has a good view and you can go out for a walk in the park. A trail cafe. Usually with my friend we go to Yard. Yolt. It's vegan. Uh, but people who also drink milk, you can just go because uh, it tastes just amazing. But a bit expensive. And I'm not vegan particularly, but uh, when I tried, it was so good in coffee and everything. I would say espresso house. But it's not espresso house anywhere in the city. Since so it always has a really good Wi-Fi. Even where there is chili and there is always like Wi-Fi. Yeah, and really big tables. Jesus bar. Yes. It's Oh, it's a Jesus Baron Cafe. It's a very comfy um, American Latina cafe. Artistic and aesthetic. Too. So it's really nice mood and decoration. It's really calm and quiet. So it's the perfect place for you to study there. Diakna Cafe Bar. Uh, and it's a nice place because it's quiet and there are many like tables where you can sit properly and uh, work on your laptop. What is your favorite cafe to have fika or brunch in town? There are really many, many of them. Okay, this is a dangerous one because I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it's Lilia Cafe Superior. Lilia Cafe. But it's really nice, it's super cute. It looks like living rooms in there. Old Cafe Nostra in Triangle. I like the interior there, very Scandinavian style. Cafe Granen. Cafe Granen. Granen. Shout out to my <laughs> ex work. And there you can uh, go for brunch. During the week it's only 120 krona. And the food is amazing and the people are very nice there. And... Uh, Café Pronto. I like a lot the uh, focus in front of Orkan, which is really close to the library. Yord. Yord. Café Yord. Really good food. Really, really good food. So pancakes and coffee. Mocha. Mocha Pot Café. One is the chain Espresso House, which I really like. Even though sometimes it's a bit too expensive. Or Jakob that have the best canyon pula in town. That's pretty nice. What is your favorite street food in town? Undeniably the falafel. Falafel, definitely. Definitely falafel. Well, the falafel is really a thing over here. You can find falafels everywhere here. It's a battle between Badham's falafel and uh, Mr. Falafel. Badham falafel, for sure. <laughs> Badham falafel. This is like not a question. Burnham falafel. Uh, falafel. They have really rich feeling. There are always a lot of people that you will be so happy and satisfied with that. In my opinion, the best falafel in town. So I would go to Mr. Falafel. Mr. Falafel. <laughs> it's so good. I love Mr. Falafel. But also in the Bronx, it's near a skate park. We have really good grilled cheese sandwiches. I like the vibe over there. Where is your favorite place to hang out with friends in Malmö? Around Triangen and the Molan area. Uh, there are a lot of students in Molan and the price range is really lower compared to the central. I would say it depends on the weather and uh, which season. If it's in winter, of course, you most, most likely you're gonna end up in a bar to hang out with some friends, have some beer. We often went to the Scottish bar, Grum Bar. Uh, that was really nice. Vegan bar. My favorite bar is Vegan Bar since I really like the mood in there and the people are always really happy and really helpful. And it's also the cheapest beer in town. A family pub or rest. 
Indoors place would be the climbing center. Outdoors would be beach. When it comes to summer, we would recommend more to go like at the beach. If you are coming in summer, the beach is the perfect place for you to hang out with friends. Hang out at the volleyball fields. Some time, take a dip in the water. Or near the water, go for a dip. Might be a little bit cold. Also, enjoying the sunset, especially like it's really good. Bursburg Beach. Vestra Hamnens. It's close to the turning torso, and there you have like you can walk next to the water, and then you have those small platforms where you can go for a dip. The dog beach and part that is right under Artisan's Bridge. Or at the park, the Dance Park, and Forget's Park. And Slots Park. 